Sorry, y'all, we had to take it back in time. I'm kind of only doing this because I like seeing my reaction in the beginning. This wig got like something weird in it. Like, oh, my, not my edge is flaking out. Oh my gosh. By the way, my edge is coming back. <laughs> But this box, this thing got something weird in it. And I wanted, I wanted my live reaction of what it is because it is like weird. It, I feel like it's shaped like a, um, the things that the doctors used to read your heart. So I want to know what this is. <laughs> I kind of want to say it's a wig holder, but I don't see it still. I don't feel like opening it though. I mean, oh, this box is, it's boxed up nice. This is cute. Oh, it's like, oh. Okay, let's see what's inside. My first wig. Oh, this is packaged so nice. What, what this is? This, will, this better not be a wax stick. This a wax stick, y'all. This gotta be. Flyaway Tamer, real raw. That's real raw, that's very much raw to me. They gave me a clips and a rat tail comb on the inside with a cute little bag thing of a jigger. Okay, let's see how, oh, ooh, this an HD lace gotta be. It just looked too raw, oh my gosh. It just looked too raw. Oh my gosh. It just looked too raw. Okay, okay. So this is a silky straight. We're gonna just get back into it. I'm going to just show you guys me install. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have to put, I'm not gonna have to do nothing. Wait, I could just put this right on, huh? Oh, I could just put this wig right on. Let's do a little test run before we do that though. Oh, hairline look a little wonky. Hairline is a little wonky, but they know what they do. Oh, I'm about to get cute again. I ain't been cute in so long. Hey y'all, it's your girl VG back with another video and today we're going to be learning how to put on a bottle cap truss, get into the edges. If you go ahead and watch my earlier videos before this one, when I tell you my eggs was bald, gone and dusty, they were bald, gone and dusty. Look at them. Now I got peach fuzz, like, not even peach fuzz y'all, I got edges. My edges are back, they're, they're, they're coming back, period. So for my new updated ball cap method, we're going to start off with the same process, pushing back our edges to protect them from not being pulled on when we do the ball cap method. Let me show you guys something real quick. <laughs> Watch this. Bow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Purpose of brushing your edges back is just to protect your edges from being pulled on when you do seal the ball cap down. Here it goes, baby Saya. Y'all look at Saya. I don't know why he was crying, y'all. He just be... He be trying to stress me out. He not gonna stress me out though. We love this. We love Saya. Hey, Papa. Hey. Y'all ain't seen him in a long time. He's officially six months. I'm so sorry I had to find out this way. But this is how my hair look after I pull back all my edges. Make sure you guys pull it all back. Now to get an even better melt, the only way you'll ever get a better melt with barely seeing your ball cap at all is if you use knee stockings or stockings, period. If you have a regular ball cap, you're going to still see it, but it'll be a lot more seamless by using this method. So we're gonna go ahead with our Wonder Lace Black Can Spray. I like to spray the middle section before I cut out my ears so it could dry up by the time I get finished with my sideburns, if that makes sense. I kind of just have a process of everything it just makes sense to me at least. So I'm going to do that right now. Cut on my ears, never gonna drop our sideburns. By the time we drop our sideburns, the middle section will be dried up. But make sure to always use high heat because it's gonna take forever if you don't.
Now we're going to begin cutting the ball cap. So the process with cutting the ball cap is you have to lift and cut at the same time. If it does not lift, do not cut. But of course, you do want to get as close to your hairline as possible. Please still leave at least, what I say, a centimeter of space um, from your hairline because we're not trying to get no glue on our hairline, okay, baby? If you out here still gluing down your ball cap with some lace glue, please stop because you're going to just be snatching out your edges. Do this instead. It's a lot more helpful and it's quicker, by the way. So right now, I'm just making sure I get all the excess ball cap that I don't need to get it closer to my hairline. And then we're going to get into semen. Is it semen? We're going to get to molding it down. Now listen close. My way of molding down my ball cap, I will spray some Wonderlay spray on my thumb and then I will apply pressure sliding it downward with the blow dry on high heat to mold it down. You can see the difference already. Now we're going to just keep on repeating the process and get into it. Now after doing all that, we're going to clean up our mess, wipe up all the spray glue or whatever. What I like to do, I like to mix my concealers together. I kind of lost my vision of my skin tone now, so I did my best to match it because I have been staying inside more. So your girl did get a little lighter. So I did have a little trouble with finding the exact color of who I am, um, of Miss Chocolate Brown me, yes. But, you know, it was still a perfect melt with my wig installation so just try your best to get as close as possible it's okay if you go a shade lighter or a shade darker it's actually more natural that way so if you don't get the exact color that you're looking for that matches your skin tone don't be so hard on yourself about it baby okay because it's going to work out regardless especially with this wig okay this wig was really real nice i guess it's some type of air lace whatever it's called but it was real nice and it was like so quick for me to put on this wig is from my first wig and it was very much raw i enjoyed it i loved it i had no complaints about it at all the hairline wasn't as wonky as i expected it to be it was actually pretty more like it was actually more on the natural side i just y'all i was feeling it real bad i loved it and there you have it as i look back now maybe the color concealer i would use would be the 15 but that's how we melt our ball cap baby now let's go ahead and get cute Trey? Trey? 